Alrighty, it's time. Vacation is starting right now. You are ready to go to bed and tomorrow's Saturday and you're gonna have a really good weeks off. You get to uh, keep uh, just enjoying your family there at your house and make sure you read, get on your Chromebook and do all the cool things that your teachers have told you to do so you don't step back and forget about school, okay? So just read books and then just enjoy yourself that time, okay? So I'm Mrs. Galvan, superintendent of our school district and really excited to be able to read you a story. And so tonight's story is The Night Before Christmas, one of my super duper favorites that I used to read all the time when I was a teacher right here in Greenfield. So I'm really honored that you have chosen to be here with me tonight. So in Espanol. Gracias comunidad. Hola, soy superintendente Galvan del Sitio Escolar de Greenfield. Dice para leer una historia con ustedes y voy a leer la noche antes de Navidad. Uh, este es uno de mis favoritos desde cuando yo era una maestra aquí en Greenfield y siempre leo um, historias uh, a los niños y quiero leer lo mismo aquí con ustedes. Y ojalá que ustedes toman unas fabulosas vacaciones ahí con su familia. Cuídense mucho. Ahí se quedan en las casas lo, lo más posible que pueden um, y Aquí vamos a estar cuando regresan ustedes de Navidad. So aquí es la noche antes de Navidad. The night before Christmas. One of my favorites, for sure. This one in the 12 days of Christmas. It was the night before Christmas. And all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children are nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and whoop, threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes would appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. St. Nick is Santa Claus's real name, Nicholas. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the hill, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of reindeer, toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each tiny hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bowl and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of an eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod and 
up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Oh, that's a classic. I hope you enjoyed that, boys and girls. Today, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a Mary Chapa Kodiak. So I hope you enjoyed all of the stories that we've been reading so far. I do want to tell you, we are going to take a little break for the three weeks of Christmas. And I'll be back to read you a story the week when we come back on December, nope, excuse me, January 13th. It's a Wednesday and we'll be back reading stories, okay? So you all take a little break, we'll take a little break, and then I can't wait to read you stories again when you come back to school, all right? So I'm Super Dental Gavon, always happy to read your story. I'm gonna miss you. Hope you missed these story times too. And we'll see you in January of 2021. I'm sending you a great big bear hug from our family.